You are capable. You are good enough. You are strong enough. You do have the ability to do this. You can do this. You are doing it. You're just fine. Really. Hello, everyone. Welcome to FCA Friday. Today, I'm going to talk. I've you may have noticed in um, my vlog uh, that I've been, or in some of my actual previous videos, I've been feeling very mentally overwrought. And that's because I forgot my little mantra of life. And I think that I'm going to share that with you to help you get yourself back in line, back on track, maybe tone down some of your, your mental and emotional overwhelmings too because that's what I'm here to do. I want to make people happy. I want to make people feel better. Um, and you can't make everybody happy all of the time, but if I can make somebody feel a little bit better and help somebody out, then that's good. And so today's FCA Friday is going to be an adulting 101, maintaining yourself, getting through life. And the way to get through life, it's hard. Bad things happen, and the, I think that's what makes life hard, is that bad things just happen to you. You don't have to put any effort into bad things happening to you. The weather could just go completely poopy for you. Your car could break down. You could hit a bad pothole. Um, your car could mini explode like my did. <laughs> There's all kinds of things that could go wrong that you didn't actually put anything into and but for good things to happen you have to put in effort and that's what makes life hard but to make life a little bit easier um, I don't recommend using this advice to stop any medication or psychological counseling or therapy that you are getting this is just to help with the everyday, get through it, you're doing okay kind of a thing. And you just have, for your mental and emotional well-being to get through life, you have to do two things, and you have to do these two things continuously and simultaneously. And that is be in the moment, move past that moment. You have to keep doing those things. If you do have your moment, move out of the moment, because if you spend too much time in nostalgia, too much time in the past, too much time reminiscing, you're not going to move forward, you're not going to make progress, and you're certainly not going to get anything done because you're going to be too busy living somewhere and, and being remorseful back there. Have your nostalgic moment, because those are good, even bad or good nostalgic moments. Have those moments, but then move past them. Get whatever you're doing done and then move on with it. When you let yourself have your emotions, don't hurt other people when you have your emotions, but if, but without any rationalizing or justifying of your emotions, just let yourself have the emotion that you're having. If you're angry, if you're sad, if you're happy, if you're elated, be in that moment, be in that euphoria or that dystopia of your mind for the moment. Have your cry, scream into your pillow, scream outside in the rain, have a lifetime movie moment and cry while kneeling on in the shower. Whatever you need to do, have that moment. Fully immerse yourself in that emotional moment, but then stop. Get past it. Have yourself a good cry, have yourself a good laugh, but don't try to maintain either of those. Trying to maintain an unattainable euphoria is how people get addicted to drugs because they get this amazing, incredible, euphoric goodness. It feels wonderful, but then they keep wanting that. It, their body immediately wants that because of the endorphin release. Your body likes that. And then you, you're after that and everything else falls to the wayside. Constantly living in a moment of um, reliving bad moments. So you don't want to completely forget that because you don't grow if you do that. But completely staying there is where you fall into a depression and anxiety hole. So you have to, so, but if you're never in the moment, if you are constantly doing everything else and you don't let yourself have those emotions, if you don't let yourself have that moment, 
then you're going to feel overwrought, overwhelmed, exhausted, worn out, burnout, out, and, no and then nothing's going to get done. So you don't want to go to the extremes of saying in the past or in a not yet existent future by trying to get too much done at once. Have your moment, focus in on your moment, and then move past those moments. Once something is done, be done with it. Don't second guess yourself. Don't try to overthink everything. Get it done, move on to the next moment. Because that way you will be able to maintain emotionally in check because you will be able to have had your expression, you let your anger, your frustration, your happiness out. You know, bottling anything up, good or bad, isn't healthy for you. But trying to remain in those intense emotional moments is draining. Even if it's a good emotion, Staying in it for too long is draining and takes too many mental and physical resources. So simultaneously and continuously, move on, live in the moment, move on, live in the moment. And that will help you get things done. People think that when you have to multitask, because you have to multitask to get through life, but they think that means that I have to do everything in the same second. That's not what it means. It means there's multiple projects going on that have similar deadlines. Like there's a lot of things coming up in the same week, in the same time frame. What you need to do is start ahead, live in the moment, move on, get your stuff done. So when, you, like right now, I'm getting this video done. I'm not worrying about anything else. You can be in a moment to prepare for other things in life, make your list, to get in preparation. That's being in the moment while preparing for the future and not letting yourself get overwhelmed. Because if you're trying to work on a task, even if it's a simple task like doing laundry, if you're trying to do laundry, but you're thinking, I need to go to the grocery store, I need to get stuff for dinner, I need to make sure that I get um, this paper done, I have to get this assignment done for work, I need to, my friend's baby shower is next week and I'm in charge of the cake. If you are thinking all those things at once instead of just getting your laundry done, suddenly you're going to end up with no white clothes because you you accidentally threw in a red shirt because you were thinking of what you needed that because you want to get a nice cake but you don't want to get too much of a cake and I still don't know what I'm going to get for dinner having too much of that at once be in the moment like okay I'm gonna get this laundry done and when you're doing that it's like okay there's something there's load in the dryer load in the washer this gets folded fantastic then move on with your life. Laundry is done. Don't think about how you still haven't done towels and jeans. Go, okay, I need to get to the grocery store. Let me do that. Get your groceries done and maintain like that. Live in your moment and it will help you. I'm not saying that you can't ever think about anything else other than, okay, right now I'm doodling and I have to be really focused in on my doodling. I'm not saying that, but let yourself have your moment, get this task done in this moment, and then worry about the next thing. One crisis at a time, one moment at a time, because being able to be present will not only let you have the most out of each day and the most out of our time, but it will also keep you from feeling overwhelmed and overwrought and it will help bring you slightly out of your depressive states and out of your anxiety. If you're like, okay, I'm going to get this done. There's a ton of other things happening. Let me get this done. Get this done, feel the accomplishment, and then, okay, I have other things to get done. Let me go get those done. And you will feel so much better. And like I said, being in the moment, have those emotional moments, cry, scream, whatever you need to do that doesn't hurt other people. Try not to hurt yourself in the process as well. And you will find that getting through life is a lot more manageable when you do that. Because when you stop doing that, when you try to take in everything at once, you, you crash. To avoid the crash, to help yourself maintain, to go, look what I actually got done. I got things accomplished. Um and it all got done. I'm doing okay. I'm getting through life just fine. It's because you're able to simultaneously do the moment and move on. Live in the moment and move on. 
repetition gets it stuck in your head. I hope that this helps. I hope that you have good moments more than bad, and I hope that the bad moments are very, very short, and I hope the best for you.